Do you feel like your day trading strategy is like a game of Monopoly? When a roll of the dice could mean you are taking two steps forward and five steps back? You might be making these trading mistakes and I'm here to show you how to avoid them. There comes a time where trying to learn how to trade is an upward journey and I can tell you, I've been trading for almost 10 years and I've made every mistake under the sun. But don't worry, I'm here to share my experiences so you don't walk in the same breaks I've already stepped on. Let's get stuck in with these top 5 trading mistakes to avoid. In case you want to know more about what day trading is, make sure to click on the link in the description. Day trading mistake number one, trading on your impulse. There's a popular saying, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So picture this, you see an opportunity in gold as prices rise and it keeps rising. You want to be part of the party and the FOMO is real. So you jump in blindly with no plan. You were lucky to make a couple of profits here and there, but it just takes one bad trade for your account to flake, especially if you have no stop loss or you are over leveraged. Sound familiar? We've all been there and this painful lesson can slap you back into reality, giving you the greatest takeaway of all, which is your trades should not be based on impulse and without a plan. Planning might sound like a lot of work and overly time consuming, but it is a day trading at its core. Deep inside, we all know that a good trade is often roughly 80% planning and 20% execution. Alert signals indicators can all help in your trading journey and very much should be part of it. But the mistake often occurs when this becomes your whole trading world and you get lazy, complacent, and you stop doing your own research. Therefore, day trading mistake number two is blindly following one source of truth, just like following only trading alerts. While you could be lucky and make money from these alerts in the short term, the long term prospects do not look pretty. It is a huge risk to over rely solely on one source of truth because in the end, while you blame signals in your losses, it falls on you for not widening your research and ensuring you execute your trades as we just mentioned now. The bitter truth is, when it comes to success, there are no shortcuts. Do you sometimes feel betrayed by the markets when you lose? It can feel like a personal attack and with every click of that buy and sell button, the illusion that you can reclaim your losses gets bigger and bigger until you've inevitably spiraled down into a never ending rabbit hole. This leads me to my next big mistake in day trading, which is stop revenge trading. Fight the urge to fight back. If you catch yourself about to make that emotionally charged trade, just take a deep breath, close the laptop and go for a long walk. Go do other activities and keep yourself well distracted until normality returns. You need to give yourself time to reflect on what went wrong plan a new strategy and come back with a cool and focused attitude that will be ready to execute new opportunities. Day trading mistake number four, not using risk management tools. Have you ever driven a car without brakes? How about hopping on a roller coaster that goes upside down without a harness? The concept is quite similar when it comes to trading without a stop loss and take profit orders. Despite the dangers of trading without any protection, Many traders have looked these useful risk management tools and in most cases, these trades can backfire. Using a stop loss and take profit is essential to keep trades going by avoiding steep and painful losses. Have you guys watched Popeye? Do you remember his strength with spinach? Sometimes Popeye would overestimate his strength and get into trouble. Well, this leads to the final day trading mistake, over leveraging. The ability to use leverage is one of the main attractions to trading the markets. Leverage allows you to trade a much bigger position, even with a smaller amount of your trading cash. But as we all know, this can be a double-edged sword. While it can amplify winning trades, it also does the same for losing trades. If you use a high level of leverage and a trade turns against you, this could result in a total wipeout of your trading account. So the best way to use leverage is to start slow. Try using the lowest level of leverage often, once you are more comfortable with how leverage works, then you can increase the leverage levels if you like. 
So guys, these are the day trading mistakes I've made so you don't have to. So learn from me and recap. Number one, take your time and stick to the plan. Number two, diversify your alerts and make sure you do your research. Number three, manage your emotions and avoid revenge trading. Number four, use all the available risk management tools. And finally, use higher leverage only when you've mastered how it works. So what trading mistakes have you made that I haven't listed? How did you overcome them? Let us know in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring the bell. Until next time guys, thank you.